Hey, this is Chris, Facts Over Crime. So, <laughs> so we had a shooting in Granville County the other day. Um, there was one car with a man and his girlfriend and maybe a child or two in the car. And then there was another car with a man and his wife and his two children. And they were going down Old 75, which is a, a back road. That used to be the highway between um, Oxford and, and Durham. And so, you know, the details are so unclear. Um, WREL just it never, they just publish stories. And then if, if it's interesting enough, they'll come back and, and they'll correct it. And so the first story was there was just some big gunfight in a, in a convenience store parking lot. <clears throat> but it turns out that what happened was, as far as we all know, the guy with the guy was in the car with his wife and his two kids passed this other guy, and the other guy didn't like it. And so when they got to there's a convenience store about halfway between, uh, uh, probably not quite halfway, but on the way to Durham, uh, the guy who got passed pulled back into the park into the parking lot and just kind of fired a bunch of shots into the other car and unfortunately hit the man and hit his one of his daughters one of his, his I think she was four she's four years old as far as I know they're both going to live but they're both in the hospital and I say all that to say people are just coming unhinged aren't they I mean it's I don't I don't know you know people say well it's the, it's the pandemic I don't know that you know I don't think there's any excuse for that kind of behavior is there ever and yet it seems to be becoming more um, of an everyday occurrence. I mean, I'm not talking about necessarily people shooting into other people's cars, but I'm just talking about people just, you know, it's like, do you have no patience at all? I mean, can you, can you just not chill out for five seconds while we're driving down the road? I mean, people, you know, cut people off and getting ticked off when they get past and and, and it's just, come on. I mean, you've got to. What's wrong? What's wrong with your life, right? What's wrong in your? What's so wrong in your life that you just feel the need to just, to just, you know, be a total ass on the highway? I mean, there's no better way to put it, right? There's no more realistic way to put it. Now, I don't know if there's a backstory here. I mean, they both live in Granville County, as far as I know. They may know each other. They may not know each other. Uh, the guy who did the shooting didn't get arrested right away because he's the grandson of a former sheriff, not the latest sheriff who's in, who's going to go to jail, but I guess the sheriff before him, or maybe a couple sheriffs back. I don't know. He finally did get arrested, but it's like, how long does it take to figure out what happened? You know. But still, the greater point is, Pete, you. It, you know, for those of us, you know, it, it's like I understand we're all going to face some kind of conflict in life, but there's no sense in, is there any sense in just, you know, provoking conflict just for the sake of it? I mean, you're in your car, you're safe. I've just decided on a personal level, I'm just going to, you know, hey, whatever you want to do, dude. I don't care. I mean, unless you're going to point a gun at me or something, then I'll, I'll do something, but... Other than that, you got the right of way. I mean, because you're going to take the right of way anyway, because you're a jerk. <clears throat> but there's no sense getting upset about it. There's no sense getting mad at it, because some people are just immature, and they've never grown up, or they're using this this pandemic as an excuse to just, you know, it's like, well, I don't need to treat my fellow man with any kind of respect at all. And I think it's sad. You know, I don't, I don't know if it's a pandemic. I don't, I don't know if it's just a bunch of people being raised by parents who never taught them right and wrong, uh, never had any discipline in their lives. And when I say discipline, I mean any form of discipline at all. I mean, I get it. You don't, we don't want to be beating our children. I said a good spanking every now and then uh, really does reinforce who's in charge, though. And uh, that's probably an unpopular opinion these days. We have to have time out instead. But anyway, I just thought I'd. So I talk about that a little bit because I think it's, I, think, I don't know.
is it going to get better? Is it going to get worse? I don't know. How many, how many more people got to go to jail for you know shooting other people in a road rage incident before, before you know somebody finally says, you know, this is just not the way things are supposed to be. Let's try being adults. Let's give that a shot. Someday that'll happen. Most people still are. There's a growing minority of people who just think, well, this is my road and I'm going to do what I want to do. If you've got any questions or comments, leave them in the section below. Like and subscribe. We appreciate when you do. We'll see you on the next disappointing video.